House of Board of SEC, the Telco Services, and various companies are here. We thank you and welcome you this afternoon. Uh, the National Assembly, the House of Representatives, got a petition from the uh, local carriers as regards some regulation by the SEC. It is our responsibility as the People's Parliament to look into the applied National Assembly uh, is going to be going to come. Uh, some approved the National Assembly that they believe in the resolution of the People's Parliament. So as uh, in order to carry that responsibility, this must be done. And we can't do this thing. Uh, the Nigerian Communication Commission is, was established by the act of this National Assembly. They have been uh, given the responsibility to have on behalf of Nigeria federal government, the legislator, to carry out these activities. But uh, members have studied uh, the petition. We are want to make this brief. The interest of everybody is, uh, naturally, we are not supposed, we just have to approach them and say, since you have gone to court, the National Assembly does not like to deal with matter, matters in court. But since some of them say they are not part of those that go to court, there are some local carriers that believe they want to talk to the National Assembly to resolve this matter. So that is why you can see us sitting down, talking, discussing this matter, because some members of this association of local carriers believe in the National Assembly. I will tell you to remember, we have some questions that you can start. What do you think in the with the agreement, Treaty and Agreement Act, Section 3, Subsection 1A, that any agreement that involves financial must come to the National Assembly to I want to ask, because it's an international body, and Nigerian organizations are signing that agreement. Was that agreement approved by the National Assembly? If so. Every time they consulted? If they can come together, have a single body that will address the issues on their behalf, to just articulate their positions, positions before the NCC. Yes. These are no masquerades. Yes. They will look into what they have, evaluate them, and see areas that they can support or assist them, even without coming to the parliament. Nigerians, it's only after you have exhausted all the necessary guidelines uh, procedure of matters that comes to us. Also, the matter where you can approach, you must see the NCC as protecting the interests of Nigeria. And the industry, as protecting the interests of Nigeria and Nigerians, are they all the same? They will not run people out of businesses. But SEC, we are, there's a matter we they are talking about. You see, the telcos are here. Are we sure they are not good? Okay. Nigerians will subscribe to other services. You know, you know, you know, you provide services. And that's why you have quite a few pages. If I don't like what you are charging me because it is high, I will go to another office. The opportunity again to our local careers. This might be the basis. Maybe you can withdraw the case in court so that we believe this national assembly wants to assure you that you are fighting your cause and we defend you as a Nigerian. And also, also. We have given the power of regulation to the NCC. Only if the NCC violates. And since we are making the law, we can amend our law. The temple we will never, I can repeat, support any kind of imbalances as against our local carriers. The president of this country will not support that. Local uh, this meeting is adjourned to the